sketch the system of inequalities. y is greater than or equal to the absolute value of x minus 4, and y is less than or equal to 4. So this, uh, the first inequality, if we think of the equation y equals the absolute value of x minus 4, that's your basic v shape. Uh, the x minus 4 tells us it's shifted right four units. So let's draw that. So I'll draw that in uh, red. All right, so let's see. Notice uh, we would have 4, 0. Letting x equals 0 would give us 0, 4. And in fact, we would also have, by the symmetry, we would have 8, 4. So we have the V-shape curve. All right, so then it asks, actually asks us to sketch where Y is greater than. So we would sketch above that V-shape. But we're not done yet because there's another condition. We also need to sketch Y is less than or equal to 4. So notice that y is less than or equal to 4. Well, if we think of y equals 4, that's a horizontal line at 4. Where is y less than or equal to 4? Well, that would be below that line. So we need to be above the what we've marked in red and below what we've marked in purple. And so we would shade the region enclosed by those two constraints. So here's another example. We're asked to sketch y is less than or equal to the natural log of x, y is greater than or equal to 0, and x is less than or equal to 6. So we should know that the y is less than or equal to the natural log of x is a logarithmic function. So we have um, the, uh, it's a basic one, so we have an asymptote at uh, x equals 0. We have a x-intercept at 1, 0, and it's increasing. All right, so if we sketch our basic natural log function, All right, and I'll sketch that in red. So we know it passes through 1, 0. We know it's asymptotic about uh, the about the y-axis, or x equals 0. And if we wanted another point, we could say, well, 2.7181 would be a point. And so we would have a curve that does roughly this. Where is y less than that? Well, we would shade below that red line. But again, we have other conditions. Our second condition tells us y must be greater than or equal to 0. So why y, y is greater than or equal to 0? Well, y equals 0 is the x-axis. y is greater than 0 above the x-axis. x is less than or equal to 6 x equals 6 is a vertical line. So we'll draw the vertical line at x equals 6. x is less than 6 to the left of it. So taking that all into consideration, our region that we would shade is bounded on all three sides.